Chris back here for another tour review. Today, we will be taking a look at General Zod, who is from the DC Rebirth comics, of course, and we will compare to his, not compare, well, we're going to compare to other figures with him as well later at the end of the video, of course. But anywho, I put his bio, well, his dial file card up right there. Well, bell, and you can pause to read. So I'll give you three seconds. So anywho, um, if you haven't noticed, um, the new audio I got, which of course I have the, a new iPhone that I'm recording right now. It is the iPhone 14, just the iPhone 14. Um, it's a lot of new things, new features on this camera thing. So um, I can't wait to do it. And I saw they had a uh, cinematic record or well, cinematic video. So, um, which I'm, which this is not cinematic recording, but you know, I would do that for a later review, of course. But you no problem. Uh, let's just see what accessories he came with. Of course, he came with six hands. So this was the clue. So this is the first set. Which this is like his gun grabbing hand, of course. And then of course he came with his um I will conquer the war the world hands, of course, which well zombie hands, we could just say zombie hands, of course. But and then of course you can see right there he got fisty hands. Which looks so cool. Oh, that's so cool. So if I bring something right here, it automatically focus, which that is really good. I like this. But anyway, enough rambling. Let's just get on to General Zod. Of course, this is actually my first time having a General Zod figure of all time, which is crazy. Uh, but anywho, um, you can see his legs, of course, which is nothing too crazy. You can see his armor, which it looks so good. And but the head scope I'm really disappointed about because he kind of looks like a Mexican dude. No offense. But he the head sculpt just looks off. Um it, it, don't get me wrong, I like the sculpt of this body buck. Um only grab I had is the scaling problem, which we'll talk about, we'll compare that shortly. But anywho. I really did like how they did the cape. Um, it was really good how they did it. It looks really real and really had a good texture to it. So that's good. And like I said, the armor looks really good. You can see his, you know, his name, not name, but his symbol for Zod, of course. And then, I don't know what he called this. Is this a, no, it's not a mega. I may be wrong. But anywho. Um, this guy has really good articulations, of course. Um, which I did have pose him up. <laughs> if you see my photography on my Instagram page at TCB Toys, you saw a couple. I think I had three I did, and it was really good. And um, of course, it was the the dark and fadery and stuff. And you could oh see, look at look at that, like focus, and then it focus back to it, which is crazy. We knew. We'll compare it to uh, to other figures shortly, but you know, if you haven't know, um, General Zod is a uh, well, General Zod is a um, conqueror, I guess. But you know, if you haven't know, uh, most most people would know him from, of course, Man of Steel, um, and I think he was on the animated series from Superman, of course. Um, I knew him more from Young Justice, where he was the black Jiron Zod from that Earth, which was really good. If you haven't seen um, Young Justice Phantoms, watch, watch it. Season four, it was okay until the ending. I can't spoil the ending, but anywho, um, on to his I'm going to bring out, of course, Superman Rebirth, which I'm not the scaling problem for them, but in well, of course, Batman Rebirth, but Molly Grab I'm gonna pull in is another character which we all know that could have been that body, but for this Superman, of course, and he's taller than that one, which I would do a review on this one shortly, but General Zod, he's, he's okay with the scaling with, between these two, 
But here you can see Superman Rebirth, of course, and Batman Rebirth as well. And the dynamic duo between the rivals. And yeah, so that's really cool. Then, of course, I'm going to bring in my guy that I recently reviewed, Superboy. Oh, man. I remember again this guy. <laughs> man. But anyway, you can see the scaling between these two, which is not too bad. I just wish Jaren's was just a little bit taller. Just a little bit taller than Superboy. But it is what it is, of course. And secondly... We're gonna be comparing to Ultraman, who is one of Superman villains-ish, kinda a little bit, I don't know. He kinda a little changed it up in New 52. But anyway, like I said, the scaling problem is is a real deal when we're falling to us. I, I shouldn't have picked it up, but he was on clearance at Target that was not nearby. It was probably like 30 miles out and it was $18. Oh, no, actually, it was $16, but I paid $18 for it. You know, you can see these two comparisons as well. And yeah. And finally, which he is in my Superman Rogues Gallery on my shelf, is Mongol. Which, <laughs> Mongol Towers General Zod. Like, hands down. Look how tall he is compared to him. Fantastic. Like, let me scoot back. That's tall. That is really tall. But, anywho, that'd be it for General Zod review. Let me know. Uh, let me know what you think about this guy. Um, is he a must get or is a must cop? Let me know. And my stance acting crazy again. Anywho, okay. So, let me know in the comments below what you think about this guy. Uh, did you get him? Of course, I think some of y'all got this about, about this. Got this guy about now. So let me think. Let me know what you think about this character um, or this figure as well. And yeah, that'll be it for Jiro's <laughs> <laughs> review. This is TCP Toys out with a bang video. And I am out.